welcome to Celebrating Everyday Life with me, Jennifer Carroll, and my beautiful mom, Lucinda Riley. If you've been reading my blog for a while, this is a very new thing and you're probably wondering what's happening. And I guess I want to call it Celebrating Everyday Life 2.0 um, because we've decided to create kind of an online TV show, yeah, for yeah. lack of another word for it. Um, we feel like we've got things to share, words to say. You know, I'm a senior myself. I turned 70 this past April, and we are, are very interested in empowering, uplifting people, so... Yes, inspiration yeah. and encouragement, empowerment for your journey is really what we're all about. And so we've decided to put together a show that is going to have some fun coffee chat time mm -hmm. like this, where we'll talk about current events, books that we like, um, diff like different things myself. that are happening. Or tea, yes, yes. drink your tea. Um, but then we also are going to have a, we're super super excited. Oh, yes. um, we have a segment that every episode will have with um, Amy Howard's new line, A Maker's Studio. Oh, very cool. Oh my very, gosh. Oh you guys, my gosh. I can't wait. You're going to love those segments. Amazing. Um, and we're even doing a really cool giveaway related yeah. to that. Yeah. So make sure you tune in for that segment. It's coming up next. Um, and then we're going to be having a senior living Yes, my segment. senior living. We filmed that first one yesterday and it was on hydration, which is very important. But I saw it and I thought, oh my Lord, I do look so old. I So I don't, I'm, I'm afraid of face surgery, but here's the thing. I saw where they could take surgical tape and some Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And gosh. maybe, you know, does this look better? You know, do I look, does it get rid of the jowls and, all, and the neck, you know what I mean? That's pretty good. Well, I gotta I say. Know. Anyway, you I'm just... You never know what you're going to see with us. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> I don't it's very like that, true. You know, but we I... We'll get a little tape, a little scotch. We'll play That's with right. scotch tape. And no, it's got to be surgical tape. But anyway, we also... Um, we'll like also start... have... But wait, let me tell them what else is oh, happening. Right, right. So, um, there's going to be the Maker Studio, the Senior Living. Um, there's also going to be segments with me sharing, as usual, my DIY, entertaining, decorating, yes. um, you know, kind of living a beautiful life on a budget because I am the girl who has champagne taste on a ginger budget. Yes, well, so, um, <laughs> I love to share these ideas with you. So a lot of that that you've um, enjoyed on the blog is not going away, but we're going to be bringing it to you in this new, fun, interactive video format. So we yeah. hope you're going to like it. We hope you're going to share, tell your friends about this. Um, we really want this to be a blessing. Also, I like to start something with a little bit of lightheartedness, you know, and Irma Bombeck was a, an American humorist. I loved Loved, Love loved her. her, and part of her books, one of her books was, If Life is Just a Bowl of Cherries, What Am I Doing in the Pits? I get that. <laughs> also, The Grass is Always Greener Over the Septic Tank. <laughs> but one of her more serious titles. quotes, which Jennifer and I really, it's like, we really believe this. This is kind of a mantra for us, too. And she said, When I stand before God mm -hmm. at the end of my life, yes. I would hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left. Yes. And I would be able to say... I used everything you gave me. I love that that thought because we like to feel like we want to use all the talent yes. God gave us. We want to give to the world what the world needs from us, would long to hear from us, and that's part of why we're doing this. Absolutely. So we're um, we're just really hoping that you're going to have some fun with us. If you have ideas of topics or segments you want us to mention or go over, Let definitely us email us. There'll be a link in the show notes. And um, if you have suggestions. You Good or bad, but be kind. Now listen, be kind, you know. <laughs> Come on. Uh, so That book. Yeah, so um, we want to share things that we love and we think that you might love too. So just recently, Mom and I were on a trip yes. down to a conference, and we were in Charleston, South Carolina. Love Charleston. Love it was it. so much fun to be down there. And every time we travel, I'm always hauling her into bookshops because yes. I love books. Personally, I love Kindle. So there you go. But um, we found this really charming little waterfront bookshop, and we went. I went running in there, and I found this new book. Um, it's by it's Iris Apfel. The title of it is The Accidental Icon. And if you're not familiar with Iris, I highly encourage that you get this book and read it. Oh look! Oh look! Some of the glasses. We're style guys. mavens. We're both style mavens. Style. Well, she's book. a real one. Okay. But I love it. Um, Iris calls herself, she's in her 90s, and Iris calls herself the um, 
geriatric starlet, which I just love that. I love that term. And I think her story resonates so much for me because it really, you know, I'm in my 40s now and this book is all about you are vital and relevant at every age. Yes. And, you and know, that's so, true. So often you want to think like, you know, oh, I'm at this age and I'm, you know, maybe I'm a stay at home mom or, you know, maybe I'm older and don't, the world doesn't need what I have to say. And we just want to say, no, 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 no. The world needs to hear what you have to say. And this that's book right. is a huge encouragement. So as check it out. As we continue on our adventure, you'll find more about my crazy, wacky <laughs> life and the things that I've been able to accomplish. Yes. And it will encourage Amazing. you because I'm like Colonel Sanders or something, yes. starting a business in my 60s that's very successful. And anyway, that comes later. And now we're doing something new in that's your right. 70s. That's so right. Here you know, we go, it's folks. never too late. Buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. That's <laughs> all i got to say. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to read it myself. It's so, so good. Um, and then, of course, I can't start this without sharing my new book with oh, yes. y'all. Um, I've just written a book called 321 Sold. And this is all about staging your home to sell in 30 days. And it's a complete roadmap for getting your home from zero to ready in that period of time. I like to think that I am the inspiration for all of these things. Yes. Well, I'm really not. I mean, I kind of am, but I'm not. Because she really is a talent to do all this. You know, I couldn't do it. But let me say, this started when I had a house that I was trying to sell yeah. for over a million dollars. And it needed some staging. You know what I mean? It just, it, it didn't look good. Jennifer came and I gave her a budget. I went shopping with her. All I did was push a cart. She got everything. She, we did the house, put it on the market, and it sold in two weeks for $1.2 Now listen, I was impressed because she's really good. And then for other realtors because of that, she, she would sell houses, stage them, sell them. Some yeah. of them would sell in 24 hours. So I said, honestly. And plenty of them were in the you know more modest, shall we say, price, price range. range. Yeah. Um, you know, 150,000, 300,000, 500,000, 500, things like that. This is um, good. But it, it's a super fun, super fun book, um, especially if you're trying to get your home sold and you feel overwhelmed because it's an overwhelming process. Um, there is the uh, the real version that you can get on Amazon, but if you are a Kindle lover like yes. my mom, um, the ebook version is actually the better value for this book. And there's also a special bundle. We're going to share a link below oh. the show notes um, where you can get a ton of worksheets. I've created like 70 worksheets that go 70. along with the book to really, really, really make this easy for you. Don't you don't have to use them all, but you can, no, you can choose. No, but it's there for you, you if you need it. So um, that's another super fun thing. Yeah. So. Um, without further ado, we hope you're going to enjoy the show. Again, please share your comments with us. Share the links to the show with your friends and your followers. Yes. We're going to be just trying to have a lot of fun, be a blessing, and uh, let's go make something crafty. I think our craft section is next. So. All right. See you, we'll there. See you there. Welcome to the craft studio. Come on in, y'all. Oh, we love being here with you guys, and we are so excited to talk to you today about Amy Howard's brand new line, A Maker's Studio. Oh yeah, Amy has created the most wonderful thing for all of us. She's created something that we can use to make our homes so beautiful, our own homes, or make gifts, or we can, we can actually sell products, customize, and sell them to make money. Now, you know, it's always nice to make a little bit of money. <laughs> well, that's what we do love so much about this, is that it's not just something that we can, it's amazing craft products that we can use, but it is a really cool opportunity if you're crafty and creative like we are, yeah. that you can get these products, you can get a discount to use them for yourself, or you can sell the products or you can create awesome things to sell with the products that you know, you've gotten and made, and or you can even continue to share the opportunity with other people. So. There's a lot of possibility. Yeah, it's really, they're easy to work with, non-toxic, easy cleanup. Uh, you don't even have to strip furniture or anything. Yes, so in every episode that's coming up, we're gonna be sharing really cool projects that you yeah. can be doing with these because like mom said, it's amazing. You can paint on almost any surface with this paint. Yeah. The paint is safe to use. It um, has no methanol in it, which a lot of chalky-based paints 
have that yeah. and because it's a natural occurring thing in the world they can say it's natural but it's actually toxic for you and I yeah. love that Amy's products don't have that and in fact Amy's even gone one step further to make them even cooler and she's put essential oils in them so you have a pleasant experience while you're yes. crafting so it's, it's really really cool but um we were looking at the different projects and we we're trying to think about well what should we share with you guys first and yeah. one of the things that i really love about amy's line is that she has also included a tremendous amount of stencils oh yes i love all the stencils so if you're not like mom is really artistic and she does yeah. a great job you do but i'm not so good at just like freestyle drawing and painting and i love that amy has amazing stencils like this awesome bee stencil which I hope you can see in the camera. I'll hold it up with something light behind it so you really can see how cool this is. And what that means is that we can recreate these yep. awesome designs ourselves. And one thing that I love about these is that they are a mylar material that the stencils are made out of. It's a tri material. So it's washable yep. and reusable. Yep. So like, I mean, you can use this on so many surfaces. Today we're gonna show you how to use it on a fabric uh, pillow cover, but you could use this on like wax candles. Oh yeah. You could use it on the walls, on furniture, on, on the glass, floor, on, on glass, on many like, things. On so many things. So lots of possibilities. But we thought not only because I love bees, so we were drawn to the bee, but we thought it would be fun to also give you one lucky viewer the opportunity to actually win. We love winning this. and giving prizes. We really want to be a blessing to you guys. So. What we have done is we've gotten together the um, the kit, which we'll also have this That's for right. sale on our website. We would love for you to buy it as well. Um, but we're gonna be giving away to one lucky viewer the bee stencil that we're gonna be using. We're gonna also give you a pillow cover. The which canvas is, cover. Yeah, it's a canvas cover. And then we've got the paint that you're gonna need, the size, which is basically just the glue for the gold leaf. Because gold leaf, gold by the way, leaf. yes. So, um, and also the foam dome brush. So really, it's everything you need to make this project Soup at to home. nuts. Soup to nuts. And there is a kit that's also available for, like I said, for you to buy um, to make it yourself too. So, let's jump into the project. All right. Okay, so what you wanna do first is you wanna take- put my glasses on. Yeah, let me get my glasses too. So you wanna take, the stencils all have a little bit of an adhesion on the back, adhesive side, and so you wanna center it on there. And we've gone ahead and we've, um, ironed the pillowcase, gotten it all ready. We want to put our, our stencil down there. And then we're going to take the, we're using today the Southern Gentleman paint color. Southern Gentleman. I love and the I love the paint color names. I know. And I love, look, Amy is so smart. Even the foam dome brush fits perfectly. She's into thought there. of everything. She thought really of has. everything. And what you want to do is you want to take a piece of cardboard or something to offload your brush. So when you get your paint on there, you don't want to just go straight from the paint can to the canvas. You want to use this and then you want to take and just start putting it dabbing it on to your pillow cover just dab 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 you're going to go over the entire front of the pillow cover right everything that you want to do and then the next step is you want to peel that off your stencil done and you can do this as much or as little so you can go really heavy with your paint so that you really see every detail or you can do it where it's slightly distressed like the distressing that you see here. So again, so many ways to personalize this. So the this next is my step, favorite part, the gold leaf. Yeah, so what you do is once your paint is, once your pillow is dry, which it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to let it dry, you want to take the size and you want to, now this size is, you can see it's like a white, milky white kind of color. And you're gonna take that and you pick, you could put the stencil back on the pillow if you wanted to, or you can just- I pick, like to freehand it. Yeah, pick certain areas that you wanna highlight and just paint it right on. It's gonna go on, like I said, with this milky white color. And then- Magic can, will happen. You want to let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes till it comes to tack. And so that means that when you put your finger down, it's going to kind of stick a little bit as it's coming back. It'll get clear in color. So you will do that. Then you'll take the gold leaf. I love it. And you will get a little piece of this. Now listen, this is really wispy. Don't have a fan going because it'll blow around the room. That is a great tip because yeah, it will go all around. 
and you just take this and you can this is it's it feels fragile but really you can rip pieces off if you need to you can work in sections and then you find where you come to tack you lay it on and if it moves around on you like i said don't worry it can break into pieces you can use those pieces all around where you want you can take a piece of this little paper that comes with it and you can use that to help burnish it onto what you're doing and then when you lift it away You'll still have some of it there. I've not done this part, so that's why it's coming right off. But there it is. But here it is. And you can just take like a natural bristle brush and you just brush away. And that's how you reveal the gold leaf where you want it. And it's so wonderful. you can really see on this one just how we've been able to highlight these different elements. And I'll do it so the overhead can see it too. It's just Gorgeous. So there you have a great pillow that you can display in your house and everyone will want to know how did you do it. Yes. But you could also sell this for a nice pretty penny because it would cost a lot in a store. As it Amy really always would. as Amy always says, uh, you get to enjoy the bragging rights. That's right. Of making rights. this great project um, in your home. So I hope you'll check this out. I hope that you've enjoyed this. And hey, like make I said, sure too that you register Tell oh them how. yes so the way to enter thank you mom the way to enter the giveaway is to go to our facebook page facebook.com slash celebrating everyday life and share the link to this to today's episode that's right and include the hashtag celebrating everyday life for your chance to win your own b pillow prize pack from us good luck you guys All right, first thing I want to say is getting older sucks big time because we have all this wisdom, but our bodies begin to betray us. Our minds begin to betray us. And so I got this big idea and I thought, listen, I just turned 70 in April myself and I wanted to be able to share getting older with everyone else and be able to talk about things that other people don't talk about. I mean, it's like we become invisible somehow when we're older and we don't matter. And I don't believe that. I believe that we still have a lot to offer the world. We're vibrant, we have ideas, and we should be allowed to do those things whether anybody lets us or not. That's the cool thing. We're grown-ups now. We have our own money. We have our own means. We can do what we want. Today, I'm going to talk about a very important issue, and that is hydration. I never thought about drinking too much water when I was younger. Who cares? You know, whatever. But as you get older, it becomes a really big deal. Because if you don't drink enough water, if you're not hydrated, then you can become, wait, my mind, I need to read a little bit because these are important details I want to say to you. Here's what happens. We begin to lose cognitive ability. Is that what's happening to me? I don't know. And that's just the beginning. For our kidneys to function well, we have to give them plenty of fluid. If we don't, that isn't good. It makes us tired. How about this? You're not tired, you're thirsty. Or you're dizzy, and who in the, who in the world wants to fall? I don't want to talk about that. That's another episode. It gives you headaches, cramping, body cramping. By the way, later on, I'm going to tell you a quick way to stop a cramp because that's really important because we all can get them when we don't take proper care of ourselves. Your, our morning routine is one of the best ways we can prime and prepare our body to function well during the day. Another thing that I thought was important that I found, let me say this. The habits that we develop now will improve and strengthen the quality of our life today, today help postpone the day when functional decline, which is coming for us all, I'm sad to say, it gets in the way of us living life fully, and help us live independently longer. I like that. People are living longer. Years ago, you were 40, you were pretty old. 50, you were ancient. Now here I am, I turned 70. I think I'm looking pretty good, keeping myself together pretty well, which by the way, we're gonna do episodes on how to do that too, in future adventures together. But today we're going to focus on a certain very essential thing that we need to learn to do. All right, let's get to it. There's a product that you can make for yourself in your home relatively inexpensively called Soleil. Not Olay, but Soleil. And what it is composed of is sea salt and water. Very simple. I'm going to show you how to make it. Now let's talk about salt for a minute. 
Because actually, we've been told forever, don't salt your food, stay away from salt. Well, what they're really talking about is chemically produced salt. It is really bereft of any kind of nourishment or anything, and it actually tricks your body into doing some bad things. Sea salt, on the other hand, I believe we all came from the ocean. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, when you rehydrate sea salt, it gives you minerals and nutrients, and it's almost like, think of it like this. Gatorade without the sugar, which is a good thing. So you make it this way. You take a good quality Himalayan pink sea salt or gray Celtic salt. I tend to like the gray Celtic salt, you know. I'm a wee bit of an Irish girl myself, and I like to put a wee, a wee bit of the homeland back in my body. But whatever you have, that's what you should use. You take a ball jar with a white top, and look, this is important. You buy the little plastic tops for these things because salt will corrode metal. So you have a plastic top, you can get it at Walmart. You take and you put a good amount of salt in the bottom of a jar. You think, oh, that's a lot of salt. Well, it is and it isn't. Maybe a tiny bit more in the bottom of a jar. Yes, here we go. Then you take and you add water. Oh. Good Lord, this is what happens when you get older. Okay, let me, can I use a, a, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. We fill this up to here. Not totally to the top, but just about to there. Then you'll take, put your top on, and you shake it. Shake it up. See how cloudy that looks? It looks crazy. It's like, that looks like mud. I can't drink it. So you let it sit overnight. And when you come back in the morning, this is what you have. It's lovely. You still have a little bit of salt in the bottom, but a lot of it has re-moisturized uh, or, or rehydrated into this clear liquid. Now this is the liquid gold, because what you're going to do in the morning is you get yourself a nice glass of filtered water, which by the way, I like to use filtered water in anything I do, because Lord knows I don't need to be any more toxic than I already am. So you take that, you open your jar, you have a spoon, it's okay to use a metal spoon, and you take just a teaspoon, drop it in your water, and stir it. It doesn't make it very salty, to be perfectly honest, so I don't think there's any danger, even if you were taking medications with it, because it's not over-saturating your body with sodium. But you drink that, and I will tell you something. It just gets your system flowing and your body going, and it's a wonderful way to wake your system up, but also give it some much-needed nourishment. Sometimes at night, I'll wake up, I don't know about you, but I don't sleep as well as I used to, and I will wake up with a bit of a headache or something, and I'll think, oh, I've got a headache. But I'll get up and I'll make like an eight ounce glass of Soleil and drink it. And you know what? My headache goes away, I relax, and I go right back to sleep. So, let me also tell you this. At night, I am not allowed to have an open container of water near me in the bed, and here's why. I can't tell you the number of times that I've accidentally hit it when I woke up or knocked it over with a pillow and then I'm scrambling like a fireman to get it before it's electrocuted me or ruined anything or yeah, it's a mess. So I have containers, several by the way, that have tops that when they fall over, they give me a moment to get them up without destroying the world. Also, I don't like the idea of the particles in the air getting on anything and ruining it, like getting in their dust or dirt or, or the cat getting up there and having a little taste while I'm sleeping. So these you can buy almost anywhere, tops, you know, uh, cups with tops on them, it's stainless steel, you do have to hand wash it. Carry this with you all day long so you can continue your good hydration. After you've had your 16 ounce glass here and then two of these, you've got pretty good hydration for the day. Now, I say that because sometimes I like to use an app on my phone to register how much water I'm drinking, but to be honest, that's hard to remember sometimes. But I can remember two full cups of this with my Soleil in the morning, and then I feel like I'm really protecting myself. So thanks for joining me, and I have even more wonderful insights to share with you about the adventure of getting older.
the best things that I've been known for in my career is for setting a beautiful table. I've been able to share my tablescapes in Victoria Magazine, Southern Living, and countless others, and it's something I love to do. But when I'm creating a really elaborate, beautiful tablescape, I want to do myself a favor and keep the menu as simple but delicious as possible so that I'm not totally overwhelmed when I'm entertaining. So I thought it would be fun to show you a simple but delicious menu to go along with the beautiful b Skep tablescape that, we just, that I just showed you in those pictures. So what I put together is a simple deli rotisserie chicken, easy to pick up at your local store, a wonderful spring mix of dressings, and some delicious bread like these beautiful petit croissants. But what's going to make take this from meh to fabulous is the dressing. So I'm gonna share with you a honey ginger dressing. This is also a delicious marinade. You can use it on chicken, pork, grilled vegetables. It's delicious in the summer season and it's gonna keep in your refrigerator for up to a month. So it's a great thing to have in your entertaining back pocket. And it's really, really simple to put together. To begin, you're gonna need some ginger. Now, have you ever noticed when you're working with ginger that when you go to peel it, it's a real pain to try and peel the ginger. When you're cutting it with a knife, you're gonna lose a lot of ginger. But I have a great spoon trick I wanna share with you. You simply take a spoon in your hand and then you're gonna put your finger on it and you're gonna use the back of the spoon and look, if you just rub on it, the skin of the ginger comes right off you're not really using that, losing any of that delicious ginger meat, if you will. And it's also not so dangerous, because gosh, using that knife like that, you know, you could cut a finger if you weren't careful. So you want to just slide this right off. For this recipe, you're going to need about two teaspoons of ginger, which is about a two inch um, section of ginger. So get your skin off. Get your piece. We're going to use a blender. You can use a food processor, any kind of mixer that you have. It's all you need for this. Let's just get this last little bit off. And then I'm going to let the machine do the hard work of mixing this up for me. So I'm going to take the top off, get my knife. I'm going to just cut this piece of ginger. I'm going to cut it into a little bit of sections just to get it going. And then I'm going to drop that in the machine. I'm also going to take a teaspoon of minced garlic, which is the equivalent of one clove of garlic, and I'm going to drop that in. And I'm going to go ahead and let these get a jump start on mixing for me. All right. Next, I'm going to start adding my other ingredients. Now, for this, you want to have some lemon zest, so I'm going to go ahead and zest some of the lemon right into the mixer here, the blender, and get that in there. And next, I need a tablespoon of lemon juice. One lemon has about two tablespoons of lemon juice in it, so if I take half a lemon, I've got my one tablespoon. So I'm going to put that right in here. Give this a good squeeze. I'm at a little bit of an awkward angle here for you. And get that juice in there. Awesome. Okay. I love fresh lemon juice, especially in the summer months. I mean, any time of year, it's wonderful. But in the summer, it's just extra delicious. I'm going to drop in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Get that in there. A, a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Pour that right in. And a quarter of a cup of honey. And you can eyeball this if you want to or use a measuring cup. If you're going to use a measuring cup to put this in, I recommend spraying the measuring cup first with just a little bit of cooking spray. Then put your honey in, it'll slide right out. So easy. So handy tip for you. Then you can add salt and pepper to taste. So I'm going to sprinkle in just a little bit little bit of pepper, sprinkle that in there, and then I'm going to put the top back on my mixer and give that a quick little zhuzh, if I can get this on here right, oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> give this a mix, and now, once that's ready, I'm going to start adding my olive oil. I'm going to add it a little bit at a time. Oh, 
going the honey the ginger it's so super yummy and it's going to be a delicious topping on our salad and like I said it's a great thing to keep on hand if you have unexpected company coming over throw some put pour that on some meat some grilled vegetables and you've got an easy meal it's probably my favorite element of the whole table are these sweet little DIY bee steps all right so look how cute these little diy bee steps are and they're so simple to make so what you need to make this is a balloon something to set the balloon in especially when you're getting started you're going to need a glue gun i like to use a glue gun that has a low temp and a high temp setting because for this project i like to use the low temp setting and you're going to need to have some twine so I just get this, it's a pound, they call it a pound of jute twine. I get it at Walmart, it's like just $4 or so for the pack, um, and this will make a ton of v -scaps. So imagine how cute this would be for a ladies' luncheon. So to begin, we're just going to take the twine, I'm going to tie it in a knot so that I've got a starting point, and I'll just have a little, whoops, a little loop, except that I'm not tying a knot very well right now. All right, there we go. Okay, and I've got a little tail. And I like this because then if you wanna hang this, you can, or it just looks adorable like a little top for it. Okay, so we're gonna take the loop, we're gonna take our balloon. See how our balloon has a little point here and then it's wider at the bottom? That's helpful. We're gonna use that to our advantage because it's gonna help be our um, shape for them. We're going to take this, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my twine and I'm going to stick this on the balloon and then I'm going to keep putting, I'm going to hold that there with my finger and I'm going to put glue on the twine and begin to wrap it in a circle. Now be careful guys because you know how hot a hot glue gun is. It's hot. I'm always burning myself with mine, which is why I've grown to really like the low temp setting because it's not quite as intense as the inferno of the other one. And you're going to just keep putting the glue on there and you're going to keep wrapping this around. And once you get it going, you can lift it right up off the base, set the base aside, and then just work with it in your hands. Super easy. Just keep adding glue as you're going around. Now, this is going to attach itself to the balloon. And what you'll do at the very end is you're gonna just pop the balloon. And the um, if the balloon comes out, great. If not, if it stays in there, I find it kind of just helps it hold its shape. And you just keep wrapping around and around with your glue and get it to the length that you want. And then once you've got it down to the length that you want, you can just cut it off, take a little bit of glue, glue it right to the inside there. You can see on this one, there's still a little bit of the purple balloon left inside. It's such a simple, but so adorable DIY. It makes cute party favors. It also makes sweet home decor. Imagine doing a Christmas tree that was kind of bee garden themed. This is such a fun DIY. So. I hope that you've gotten some fun, entertaining ideas and inspiration, a delicious menu that's easy to put together. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks again for joining us. We had a great time today. Listen, come back later and Jennifer, tell them. Yeah, so again, if you have ideas that you'd love to see us cover, um, topics or products or party ideas, food ideas, senior living ideas, whatever, please email us ideas at celebratingeverydaylife.com. And until then, thank you so much. We hope that you have found ideas, inspiration, and encouragement to help you on your journey of celebrating everyday life with Jennifer and Lucinda. Bye-bye.